What up, what up, it's Dane here. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how much muscle you can gain naturally. So let's get into it. So a lot of people will point to the FFMI. Over 25, you're on steroids. So quick limitations of this. Number one is based on one study. Number one, steroids didn't even exist and people had an FFMI greater than 25. Number two, the people that were on steroids that had a lower FFMI of 25 were just forgotten about. So now that we know that, what do we go to? We go to muscle to bone ratio. We need to understand that one kilogram of bone supports five kilograms of muscle. That's a lot, right? In simple terms, for you to understand, think of a bookcase. A bookcase that's this wide compared to a bookcase that's this wide doesn't make too much difference when there's no books on it. However, relating this back to the human body, if you think of the extra width here as muscle, considering what I just said before, that's going to make a massive, massive difference in how someone looks as well. So that's very important to consider. Now, the reason why the muscle to bone ratio is very, very good is because number one, it considers someone's height, it considers someone's bone mass, and it also considers how wide and thick someone's frame is. It's really, really important. Now, if we look at Dr. Casey Butt's maximum muscular potential model, which I'll attach down below, you can put all your details in there. He basically found that your ankle circumference and your wrist circumference is very, very closely related to your maximum muscular potential. Obviously, we're talking about a natural lifter in this case. Now, he found that your wrist, your wrist, your wrist breath, so how thick your wrist is here, is very positively correlated with how much fat-free mass you have, right? So if you have a big wrist, you have a lot of potential to gain a lot of fat-free mass, and it's also negatively correlated with fat mass so you're also not going to have as much fat on you obviously there are other variables that play a part here but you get the small picture here now another thing that needs to be taken into account when it comes to the actual frame size and these variables also correlate a lot with it number one the size of your hands number two your chest breath your ankle circumference and these are really 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 important when it comes to your frame size now, by now you probably already know that if you're a broad individual with broad shoulders, you've got thick wrists, you've got thick ankles, you have bigger bones, bigger structure, your frame is wider and thicker, you have more potential to gain more muscle mass or at least fat-free mass. Because fat-free mass we know is water, tendons and ligaments, internal organs, and of course muscle. But I'm sure you've seen loads of individuals with big bones, looking thick that have a lot of muscle mass so link in the description below if you want to know how much muscle you can gain naturally it's probably not the best best way because what we can do is you need to take loads and loads of measurements by an anthropophromacist i can't ever say that word but you get the point you need to take loads of measurements to get the exact same ratio and one thing i probably should have mentioned as well is that the muscle to bone ratio, like I said, it's five to one. So one kilogram of bone supports five kilograms of muscle. However, there are some genetic freaks out there that have, instead of a five to one ratio, they have a five to five to one ratio. And some people will call those individuals genetic freaks. Some people will call them steroid users, right? So. The amount of muscle you mass you can gain in conclusion is based on how thick your frame size is and the width of your frame size is very, very important. And I'm sure you've probably seen a lot of people in the gym like depressing massive, massive weights. They're thick, they're wide, and you see other individuals, they kind of, they're not very broad, but they're tall and they really struggle to gain muscle mass over a long period of time. So that's that. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, and one thing I kind of have to say here as well is that even though I have actually made a video as well on genetics and how the muscle insertions play a part and how kind of thick you look, which is also really important, but one thing I have to say is that, and this is like complete left side, is that you need to accept yourself, right? You need to just kind of enjoy the process. And I know it sounds like woo woo woo, this kind of shit, but you can't ever change like the size of your bones or as far as I'm aware, you can't change your, your wrist size, even though I did make a video on how to get bigger wrists, which basically I was saying in the video, how to get bigger forearms. But anyway, that's that. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, 
please let me know in the comment section down below again it's based on how much bone you have the width and thickness of your frame very important stay positive stay smiling check out my instagram page day night and fitness follow my alexa skills and more importantly man out of all of that stay positive stay smiling and i'll see you in the next one